Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very, very, very exciting video for you all. It's going to be my Priceline haul. Now, just a little side note, I didn't buy this all at once. I would be way too poor to buy all this stuff at once. Um, this has definitely been collected over maybe the past month. But yeah, I'm so happy with everything I've bought. Um, yeah, so let's get started. And yeah, let's just get started. <laughs> Quick side note. I did buy a lot of fake tan and a lot of foundation, so don't even hate because I know I bought way too much, but whatever. What can you do, right? <laughs> These guys have been getting the biggest hype on YouTube recently, so of course I had to pick them up. I picked up both colours. Maybe I should tell you what they are, right? Um, these are the Essence So Glow highlighters that are cream to powder. I picked up the number 10 look on the bright side which is a white yellow color and then I also picked up number 20 which is a well, which is called bright up your life which is more of a pink base. I haven't used this one yet but I've used this one. I don't like it on top of my makeup because I feel like it breaks down my foundation but underneath this is great. I love it. It's really, really, really pretty. It's just a cream product. It's so pigmented, so pigmented and so creamy. Sorry about my hair. It's just all crazy. It's always crazy. You know how it is. I picked up the Bourjois 123 Perfect Foundation. I've been wanting to try this for ages. Um, so I decided to pick it up. This is in the shade 53 Beige Claire or Light Beige. I think it's Light Beige. Something kind of boring, but I think it's interesting. This is the Cetaphil Suntivity. Suntivity? Um, SPF 50 plus UVB and UVA. This is SPF 50 plus, which is great. It's the highest on the Australian market at the moment. This is what the product looks like. It's just in a tube. I just bought it because I just wanted a nice daily sunscreen to put on my face. I don't know why I'm showing you inside. It's just a white cream. Haven't used it yet, but super excited too. Sorry my camera cut out but I picked up two boxes of Fake Bake. So I picked up the silver box which is the Luxurious Deeper Bronze and then I also picked up the purple box which is the Luxurious Golden Bronze. I'm wearing the silver one today. I haven't washed off the developing layer as of yet because I've only put it on this morning maybe about four hours ago, five hours ago. I don't know but quite a while ago. But the cool thing about these is it's actually a spray, like a mist, but you definitely do need to rub it in. Also at the Priceline 40% off makeup sale, I did pick up five of these Savvy um, lip lacquer things. So I picked up two in the Shine formulation. Where's the other one? I picked up two in the Shine formulation, and then I picked up three in the matte. So the ones that I got in the Shine are the shades... Fame and Glory. I'm not going to swatch these just because I only just put on fake tan. So, well, I only put on fake tan today and I don't want to make it all icky. So, yeah, sorry about that. But these are very, very opaque and they're pretty much true to color. Um, this is in the shade Fame and Glory. This one is in the shade On Set. And that's also a shine. And then for the three mattes, I got Miss Monroe. This is like the classic classic red. If you want a classic red, this is a good one. I picked up a nude. This is called light dot dot camera or dot 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 camera, which is just a brownie nude color. And then of course I had to pick up a purple because this was just so pretty. This is called icon and it's definitely an iconic color. At the 40% off sale, I did pick up another Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. Um, they've changed the packaging since I last bought it, but whatever. I saw it. It was the last one. 40% off. Had to pick it up. It's going to be my backup because I love this as an everyday setting powder. I'm using it today. It's great. I use it on a daily, daily basis, every day for work. It's great. Love it. Love it. Love it. If you haven't tried it, I would recommend it. You get 30 grams. Like, seriously, this is going to last you ages. Some more foundations. I picked up the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, also in the shade 53 Light Beige. Um, I love the Healthy Mix foundation, so I thought that I'd try out the serum for the summertime. It smells amazing, and I've used it a few times, and I love how it looks on the skin. 
And then another Bourjois foundation, I had to pick this up. It's called the Bourjois Happy Lights Foundation. And of course I needed it in my collection because of the name. Um, packaging's also amazing. It's actually what I have on my face at the moment, first time I'm using it. And so far I am relatively impressed. It looks really, really nice and it is dark enough for my fake tan. Which is really, really strange because I also bought these two in 53. So can you see the difference in the color? Like... I don't know if you can see, but in real life, this one is hella dark, like real dark. Keeping with the Happy Lights theme, I did pick up the two primers that they have, um, just because I realized that I don't have many drugstore primers that aren't those pore filling ones. So I thought that I'd pick up two to try, um, both by Bourjois, because I love Bourjois as a brand. I don't even know if that's how you say its name. But I picked up the Luminous Serum Primer, which looks like this. Basically, they're both clear. And I also picked up the Matte Serum Primer. I've used the matte one. I haven't used the Luminous one, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I've used the Luminous one before. But I definitely really do like the matte one. It's really, really nice. Picked up two bottles of the Batiste Dry Shampoo. It was half price at Priceline recently. So I thought that I'd pick up two more. Um, well, actually, I thought I would pick up two because the bottle that I have at home was running low and can't beat half price. I like these for more giving texture to my roots if I want to style it, which I don't do often. That's why I bought two. I should have just bought one, but whatever. <laughs> so I bought the Leopard Color, which is the Sassy and Darling Wild, and then also the Cherry Fruity and Cheeky one. I just bought them because they were the cutest packaging. This is an oldie but a goodie. So this is the L'Oreal True Match. I decided to pick up another bottle because I haven't used this foundation in ages. I have a bottle of it in W1, which I'm, I'm not really that pale that often. And if I am that pale, I do have other foundations I like to reach for. But I decided I'll pick it up in the shade W4 for when I'm fake tanned. Um, yeah, I've used it once and yeah. It's how I remembered. I do quite like it. It's probably not my favorite, but it is a good one. Also from L'Oreal, I decided to pick up a quad. Um, this is the Color Riche Les Ombres. I have no idea. Quad in the shade Infinite Bronze. I love this palette. It's so, so pretty. They are all shimmery colors, but they all are all very, very nice colors. If you are looking for a nice bronze palette from the drugstore, I would highly recommend this one. It's the nicest that I've found. Um, yeah, a little bit pricey for what it is, but it is very, very nice. Are you guys asleep yet? <laughs> so I did pick up six lip liners from Essence. One of them I bought double by accident. Um, that is... Satin Mauve. I bought two of those by accident, but whatever. I love that color. Um, I also picked up the shade Red Blush, Wish Me a Rose, Cute Pink, and also Soft Berry. I'm actually feeling so sick and I have no idea why, but let's solder on through these products and then I'm going to go take a nap because I feel so sick. I picked up two more hair care products. These are the L'Oreal Elviv Total Repair mask and leave in conditioning spray. Um, I like the mask. It's super, super hydrating and it makes my ends feel so soft. And then I pair it up with this and I wake up and my hair is just so soft, but it doesn't last very long. Like I need to do it every few days or else it just goes back to its normal state. So I think this is really just a tub of conditioner and this is just a gimmicky spray. I don't know. I thought that I'd try them. I like them. I'll use them up, whatever. So I did pick up a Okay, I picked up this bronzer from Essence. This is the Essence Sun Club bronzer. I picked mine up in shade 01 Natural. It looks like this and it has two little girls embossed into it. No joke, this stuff stinks. And not in the, like, not in the, I can put up with it stink. Like this actually smells so bad. Anyway, moving on, I did pick up two of the Essence 3D eyeshadows. These I know I love because I already have one. Apparently, they reformulated them, but to be fair, I can't really see what they did because I can't see a difference between the two that I bought and the one that I already own. Um, this one is in the shade Irresistible Choco Cupcake. That's the cutest little name. Um, I think they'll be an amazing duo just for like back to school and stuff. Um, yeah, so I wanted to give that a try and maybe recommend it to you guys. 
And then I also picked up the shade Irresistible Vanilla Latte. I thought this would be a great highlight duo. So like inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight. Yeah. So I picked up those two. These are so ridiculously affordable. So I did pick up two bottles of Mind Tan, the black and the violet. I don't really like them. So I'm not going to talk about them for too much. Yeah, but I do like the violet more than I like the black. So if you're wanting to get one, I would pick the violet. But overall, I don't like So the fake tan that I do love, I picked up another bottle of. This is the Pure Tan Pure Bronze Tanning Foam in Dark. I really, really like this. The color's on point. It lasts a long time. It's nice and dark, but it's not too dark. And it's just a nice fake tan. And I would highly recommend it better than those shitty mine tan shit. Sorry if you like mine tan, but definitely try the Pure Tan. That's great. Picked up a bottle of Garnier Micellar Water. Have a first impressions of on this on my channel so if you want to hear more about it go check it out there but yeah I overall really really like this stuff and why is there a random hair? Another foundation this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation I did pick this up I think in my last Priceline haul uh, I picked up the shade 140 Golden Beige but this time I decided to pick up Radiant Beige because I really really like the foundation itself it's just the colour wasn't on point so I decided to get this colour instead and I feel like that's going to be a really really good match for my fake tan. Picked up a Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer because I was running low on mine. Picked mine up in the shade Light Pale. Love this stuff. It's great. If you haven't tried it, where have you been living? Check it out. It's great. I did pick up a L'Oreal bronzer. This is the Glam Bronze bronzer and it's I'm guessing it's a highlighting duo as well. So bronzing, highlighting. The highlight is a little bit chunky but it's still really really pretty. It's just a really, really nice soft sheen. And then the bronzer is a nice bronzed color. Overall, I think L'Oreal does good, does really good bronzers. Um, I haven't had any complaints so far. Speaking of L'Oreal bronzers, I did also pick up the Glam Bronze OD Soleil Tanning Liquid or Bronzing Liquid, blah, blah, Bronzing Liquid rather. I'm super, super excited this. I've used it once so far and it looked beautiful on the skin so I cannot wait to use this more. So so beautiful. If you can get your hands on it, I would recommend it off first impressions. And then it's Little Foundation Twin. I also picked up the L'Oreal Nude Magique Eau de Tint Foundation. I picked mine up in the shade 140 Pure Beige. Hopefully it matches, obviously not now, but hopefully it matches me at some stage. I had to pick up this because there's been so much rave about it. This is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Magic Touch Instant Blur. The packaging just looks like that. I'm too lazy to take it out of the box. But yeah, so far I've used it. Do I think it's worth the hype? I don't know. I need to try it a little bit more. But I'll definitely update you guys when I've gathered my opinions. Two more fake tans. Sandro Pay was half price at Priceline. Kind of a little while ago, but not too long ago. Half price Sandro Pay. Like what? Um, so I did pick up a bottle of the light and a bottle of the dark. I say A, but I actually bought more than one of each. Don't judge. I told you I'm addicted to fake tan. I can't help it. I did pick up two lip glosses from L'Oreal. These are the Extraordinaire, I think. I actually have no idea what these are called. But I picked up Nude Ballet, which I think Kim Kardashian wore on her wedding day. And I also picked up Rose Melody, which is a super cute pink color. And I just... I don't own too many lip glosses that I really, really like, but I do like these because I have one already and I really love that one. So I thought I'd pick up two more. And I thought that I would try one of the Maybelline, I don't know what these are called, but intense things. I don't know. It's really, really cool. I have no idea what it's called. What is these called? I have no idea. I'm so, so sorry. But I picked up the red shade. The red shade is called... Signature Scarlet, and I do have this as a lip gloss over a lipstick today, and I really, really do like it. I wore it to my Christmas party, and I got a lot of compliments on it. So yeah, I really, really like that one. And if you're looking for a nice red lip gloss from the drugstore, I would recommend that, because it is super, super nice. It's not too tacky, but it's not not tacky enough that it's running all over your face. I like it. Mm. So I did pick up the Anoxa Skin Perfecting Pore Vanishing Cream. Um, I've only used this once, so I don't have an opinion on it yet. But once I do, I'll definitely film a review. If you want to review on anything else I've filmed, then definitely comment down below because I'll be more than happy to do it for you guys. Um, second to last, I did pick up the L'Oreal 
Eyebrow Artist Plumper. I do think this is more an eyebrow gel than an eyebrow plumper, but yeah, it's really nice. I picked mine up in the darkest color, which is called Medium Slash Dark. Oh, guys, we made it to the end. Um, yeah. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what you thought of the video and if you have any recommendations or if you want to see any of these videos but any of these videos? No. If you want to see any of these products in future videos, then also comment down that down below because it helps me out so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!